A West Michigan teacher is in jail tonight after one of his former students said that he sexually assaulted her when she was just 13 years old. The woman coming forward more than two decades later. News 8's Byron Tullifson is live outside of the Northview Public School District with more. Byron. Investigators say they have found that a former teacher here at the Northview Public School District sexually assaulted a student decades ago, and now it's being brought to light. Nobody has the right to do that to you, and if they do, it's okay to tell, and we're going to help you. The woman says she was just 13 years old when she was sexually assaulted by a Northview Public School District teacher more than two decades ago. She's held her silence ever since until now. It is pretty often that a victim who is victimized over a course of several years um, doesn't tell that story right away, doesn't have the personal strength at that time to come forward, or doesn't believe that they would have the support necessary to come forward. What changed her mind about sharing her story was talking to her daughter about what to do if she ever faces sexual harassment. And realize that I, I didn't report this, and I should probably report this. Um, it's important that I do. So last Thursday, the woman, now 39, told investigators everything, saying she was sexually assaulted by the teacher between 1998 and 2003. The sheriff says an investigation through the weekend substantiated her allegations, and police arrested the now 51-year-old teacher from Cannon Township on Monday. He is charged with two counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct. We'll try to determine if there was maybe a pattern of behavior, if maybe there are more victims that we don't know about yet. There's more of it to follow, but we are very sure in this context that this man victimized this this young woman at the time. The sheriff's office is not naming the former teacher until after his expected Tuesday arraignment. The case can be prosecuted now because Michigan law recently eliminated the statute of limitations in some sexual assault cases. In a statement to News 8, the Northview Public School District says the teacher was last employed there in 2000 and adds, quote, upon learning of the investigation, our district has been working alongside the sheriff's office and will continue to do so to bring resolution and closure to the situation. It is incredibly traumatic for somebody to be uh, a victim of a case such as this. The sheriff and says there's no indication that the alleged abuse was reported to anyone until now. This is the only victim that detectives know of right now, but the sheriff it says it's possible there are more out there. It's something that we all have to be very cognizant of and look for signs of and look for ways to interrupt that behavior um, and then be a, an accepting place to tell the story when um, it is uncovered that this has happened. According to the sheriff, since the teacher left Northview, he has taught in at least one other school district before he was recently suspended. Lowell Area Schools tells News 8 today a current teacher at the high school has been placed on administrative leave for misconduct allegations without naming the teacher, adding in a statement, quote, there is no indication at this time that the misconduct occurred on school property or involved Lowell Area School students or staff. The sheriff's office plans on releasing the name of this suspect tomorrow morning after that arraignment, which is expected to happen then. The sheriff's office also plans to ask then if anyone else is a victim to come forward. Live near Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.